Our books have finally arrived. We got over 100 backers on Kickstarter. Can we get through all the orders in one weekend? There's one way to find out. What's up, everybody? This is Artie TDJ here, and we are just getting started. This is day one of me fulfilling the orders. I'm in my living room right now. I got my comic books, my uh, shipping equipment, certificates, stickers, you name it. Everything's at my disposal. And I have my laptop with me to go through the order. So we have a lot to go through over these uh, 100 backers in order. So wish me luck. Uh, but by the way, I just want to send a shout out to everybody on this platform. We have over 200 subscribers and over 2,000 views on YouTube in a matter of two weeks. That is insane. So I, I just want to thank you guys for your love and support. I appreciate you all. I, I'm, getting, I'm still getting a lot of feedback, comments from everybody that's been inspired by my last post and you know, they love the work I'm doing. So I figured today would also be a good day to read some of the questions as I'm going over, um, you know, the, the process of how I'm fulfilling these orders. So let's get started. And by the way, right now I'm signing up all the covers for each of the backers. So everyone uh, that supported me on Kickstarter, um, has their book signed first by me and they'll get the certificates to go with it so that's where i am right now um so now let's get right into these questions indy the game raider says i like how your high school art was like perfect already also game boy player got to subscribe from me just kidding great video and comic oh uh, yeah man i i have a game in my room so to those that don't know uh that see my studio or you know my room in one of the videos i actually show my gamecube in the background so i still play that by the way it still works um, I currently have uh, a couple of GameCube games. I play a lot of Mario, Pac-Man, NBA, um, Luigi's Mansion, and then some of the Game Boy games that I have. They're mostly Mario games, like Mario, Super Mario World and Super Mario 3. Um, and so, yeah. Also, going back on my high school art uh, comment. Yes, uh, I, I've showed a lot of high school stuff. I've been drawn ever since I was um, little. Uh, but a lot of my high school stuff, I wouldn't say it was perfect. Um, when you look back at some of my art versus now, very cringeworthy and i prefer not to share all of it but uh yeah so i've been drawing for a long time <laughs> so right here um it's still day one i, I didn't teleport nowhere <laughs> i just simply switched locations to my family's home office uh we had company over that day originally i was going to live stream everything but because it was people over walking around and you know going around the space um it was just kind of inconvenient for me to do it right there so um i had help from my family members to move all the stuff to the home office so that not only am I closer to the printer and the and the computers, but simply has some peace and quiet. So you'll see me in this office for the rest of the video. So where we are right now, uh, the comic books are, are taken care of. As you can see on the right side, they're in their protected cases. So now we shift to phase two, which is the certificates. So all the backers on Kickstarter, uh, because they supported us and they helped us reach our two stretch goals, one of them including that every backer gets their books signed and with the seal of approval. That's where I am right now. So I have over 100 certificates to sign, to put a seal of approval, to put their little sticker and to sign my name on it. And of course, it comes with certificate holder. So that's all going to be taken care of um, in a matter of hours or in this video minutes. So. So going back on the comments, we got one from Nathan Lee Sunderland. Appreciate it, man. He says one question. Uh, looking bad, do you honestly think it was worth it? And if you could go back and change anything, what would it be? So I would say over the course of seven, well, I guess it's now eight years now that I completed the comic book. It was definitely worth it. The payment was immaculate. I mean, I never thought my comic book would succeed at this rate. Um, but as far as the time frame, as would I change anything? I would. I would say during that seven year period, um, I was very doubtful myself. I didn't have enough faith in my ability to do, you know, when it comes to art or writing a comic book, because I was measuring myself with other successful artists like, you know, Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, J. Scott Campbell, uh, Ryan Stegman, like a lot of those famous artists. And so uh, I would say for all your artists out there, you know, when it comes to, you know, honing your craft or finding an art style, you don't want to compare yourself so much with a lot of these people because what you want to do instead is to learn from their growth, learn from their failures, learn from their mistakes, you know, so that you could be a successful artist like them. And that's what I wish I would have told my younger self that way, because a lot of times, half the time, I would just put this comic on the back burner and do other things besides working on my comic book. All right, so this is day two. It's a brand new day. I'm back in the office and everything is pretty much good to go. So all the certificates are in their folders. The comic books are sealed up. I'm printing my stickers. So I've got my art prints. I got my other rewards. So now it is finally shipping time. So I got my boxes. I got my 
envelopes and packages and we are shipping out every single backer on the list so i have my backers on on one side going through thoroughly to make sure everyone has their respective rewards and again this is no easy task this <laughs> it's over 100 packages and i have to you know organize them make sure so this one took me all day to not only stack them up but put them you know in order so eventually the room was kind of like cluttered with just boxes everywhere and uh you know it, it's it, it's it's cool and all because you know it's, it's kind of my favorite part about the inventory where i get the package everyone put my special touch on it so um can't really complain all right going back to the series of comments here's a good one from duck bacon <laughs> i love the name um so duck bacon says finish that book absolutely the best advice there's not a day that goes by that i hear about a project that's still in progress as a customer i lose all interest when i hear this great video and yes, that's very important that I have to say, and I mentioned this in my last video, um, that when it comes to creating a comic book or medium, whatever the medium is, you must finish it before promoting it or even get at least 80, 90% of it done. Let your customers know that they can be sure that when it comes to asking them to invest in your project or, you know, crowdfund it, that they get a return on investment. Make sure they're not wasting their time because that's, that's, that's what happened to me as a customer before I got into combos, I was one of the customers for a Kickstarter that I was um, supporting. Um, this person did issue one of this book and it was really good. And he was building on his, um, you know, his comic book universe and he got all these different tiles that, we, that he was establishing. Then it got to issue two of that same book um, and he only did like five pages, but he already got a successful Kickstarter and we're like, oh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be cool. And so next thing you know, we waited, waited waited and waited 10 years later and still had nothing and now granted i think the artist explained this stuff said about there was some scheduling conflicts and they were having issues you know in their personal life so i i understand you know that people you know have to deal with certain things but at the same time you know uh people lost interest you know because again uh like the guy said you know a project that's still in progress when it comes to promoting when it comes to asking for money they want assurance that what the, the project should be done beforehand. You know, you don't want to just go out your way and say, okay, let me ask people for so-and-so and the project is not even like 50% completed. And so that rubs, that rubs the customers a bad way. And that's how you lose your audience as well. And so that's what I did for Atlas. When I was working on this book, after my first book started, I learned, okay, I want to get this book done, get something concrete before I, I ask, before I start promoting and ask people what the book is about, what the story is about. Like I must, you know, have something concrete to show people to reassure them that hey this is not just a project that's still in progress he's actually building something he's actually working towards a goal and then that way that's how you pique people's interests all right last question i'm gonna jump right back to my one of my posts from my shorts this guy named moon he says i like this way better than studios race bending already established characters it's lazy and quite boring in my opinion POC, a person of color, deserve their own characters and have their own name. Much respect, brother. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, now, it's a very tricky subject because we are there are some people who do like some of the characters as their race or their gender or their ethnicities. Uh, but as for a person who's creating comic books, I wanted to, you know, have originality in my character. So all my characters you see, they're original. I try to give them their own personality. And uh, I feel like all comic book publishers should, should strive to do that. All right, and by this point, we finished all 100 packages for Kickstarter backers in two old days. I literally finished all the Spider-Man movies while doing these orders. That should be a growth record record, but I thank you guys again for your love and support. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to get a copy of Atlas issue number one, the store link is in my bio, and uh, you can grab your copy today. So thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys out. Peace.